Hello everybody, this is Richard here, coming to you from the Terraform Homestead. For those of you who are new to our channel, we are a nonprofit based out of the Snorren Desert, focusing on sustainable building, natural building education, and basically teaching people to live a simpler, healthy life. This week, we are coming to you with part two of our Hyper Adobe build. We are working on this structure behind me. This is our test house. We wanted to do something on a smaller scale, kind of got out of hand, uh, but Something to learn, something to experiment with, something to basically get our teeth cut in the Hyper Adobe building space before we started on our main house. Let's get into the build. Be sure to watch to the end to see the big reveal of this build. Thank you guys for watching. Let's do it. Did every life accounted for? Grow your garden, find your tribe. Let your hearts burn inside. <laughs> First bag down. This bag! <laughs> wow. If we were doing earth bag, this would be very disappointing that we've put this much work in and got one bag. Yeah. Because yeah. this is 60 feet long. I'm going to say it's okay. Thing. Almost done with the foundation course. <laughs> yeah, this is the foundation. <laughs> That's a little wet. Course number three going. Course number three. Only like 37 more. We're at three courses down. Almost. Almost. Wow. That Ooh, is perfect. What a measurement. We got our box in. That's gonna be our form for the concrete. Got these extension lines in. So basically what we're gonna do is when we get the railroad ties up, drill a hole through the all the way through the railroad tie, 
and just slide it onto there. I can then heat up that end and bend it over. So that'll tie our ties into slab. I don't like using adhesives out here because they just don't last very long. So I think this like hard mechanical connection is gonna do a lot better. And then our bags just go right up against that and no drama. We got our posts in some rebar scrap in to the bags. So that's gonna lock our uh, threshold into the actual bag work, got a remesh to reinforce the concrete. Got the concrete poured, got some cool rocks stuck in there. Um, so technique I learned on the bus uh, desk was there's self-leveling concrete which is really awesome and does some cool swirly sort of pattern vibe things to it it's really expensive it's like 25 bucks back but if you just fill up the bulk of it with regular concrete that's like three dollars bag and then what I do is just put that self-leveling right on the top it's a lot cheaper and looks really cool so I got some quartz and stuff in there um, one thing I caught that I'm glad I caught before I went all the way was we're leaving the back open because the door will open inwards. And so I want to get a nice, good, tight threshold on there so we're not having bugs and cold and mice and stuff like that getting in. Learned that the hard way on the pump house. Everything I learned out here is the hard way. And so we kept the back open. That's nice and level. Um, we'll dry off or we'll get all leveled off once um, everything dries out. The pack rats were taking beans, going down the tube line, and stashing them. The beans sprouted. Yeah, that's what's, yeah. So we've got black beans growing in our shower drain line. It's always a new thing out here. The insurance company made me put this skirting on. It's dumb to have skirting out here because all you're doing is creating a perfect habitat for pack rats snakes, nasty creatures to live right under your house. But they made me do it because they don't live in Arizona. To keep stuff out, I put a strobe light under there. Pack rats didn't like that. They cut the cord. So now what I have to do is crawl under the house, get the strobe light out, reattach the wire and replug it in. The issue is these are sentient creatures with highly intelligent tool usage, they have stolen knives, they have stolen weapons, and today we found a rat agricultural production in the drain of our shower. Richard is about to go under the house. I feel like we should do some Damien and the Omen music. This is, yep, he, I believe in you. <laughs> you get your tetanus? Well, okay. All we have now of Richard is a foot. Bite marks. These things knew they did not like the strobe light and they chewed through it. That's one of the big old pack rats too. That's what's been stealing. This is huge. <laughs> this is pretty decent size. Like I would have maybe expected to bring a mouse. <laughs> All right, so we got it fixed. Got it wrapped back up. We're going to be putting some hardware cloth to protect the cord. Maybe we're just setting up a, a nightclub for them and pretty soon you'll hear a DJ mixing rap music underneath there. All right, we got the rat nightclub disco club going again. Hopefully they stop waking me up at three in the morning. Good morning, good morning, everybody. We are here on, I think, day four of this build. And this weekend we are pushing to get Four courses done, so that'll give us about another two feet of what will be eventually 12 feet. Crew's been working really hard this week, getting dirt, getting sand. We've actually got 15 tons of sand coming next Friday because we learned just going to the wash, it's like 45 minutes to get one half ton of sand, and we need a lot. We're
we're just making this up as we go, not gonna lie. But I think this is gonna work. Um, we got these strapped in. We're getting these boards to kind of brace the two together. It's just a temporary solution until we actually get it up on the wall um, and start getting bags around it. I think they'll be pretty rock solid once we do that. got a hole drilled. Um, did not have a billet bit long enough. So here's what we did. It worked. Um, now I'm gonna drive a piece of rebar through just to clear out that hole. Make sure it's all good so that when we lift the super heavy thing it slides in a lot easier. I need some muscles! We got the rebar going through the concrete. We got those bent over so we have a physical connection. This is going to be beefy. <laughs> this is, I think it looks so cool. These right here are just temporary um, to keep it all tight uh, while we get the walls up. I'm going to put the uh, straps back around it. But yeah, this is pretty freaking cool. We've got our concrete threshold. Downside is, I got one more to do. <laughs> Here we are with our second um, door frame post. Still freaking just beast of <laughs> framing here. We are almost done with course number four. That'll put us 10% done with the bags in four days. Today's day four. Got our door frame in. Super excited about that. It looks absolutely beefy, really cool. We are wrapping up day four. Um, Koda's coming over here to eat something, um, probably something important. What are you doing, buddy? Are you gonna pee on the house? All right, good talking to you. We have started on course five. Um, it's starting to look like something now, which is really cool. Yeah, uh, we would thanks to, shout out to Tiny Shiny Home, I visited them a couple days ago and they really helped out getting a mix, um, just seeing how it's supposed to look versus what we kind of did the first couple courses. And so we've got everything really nice and leveled out and yeah, I'm hoping we can start getting four or five courses a week. Um, we're going to shoot tomorrow for at least, at least finishing this course, one more full course and maybe another, uh, but we'll see how motivated people are. Everyone kind of worked pretty hard today. So yeah, checking out for the night.